I'm Shreya Pathak, and I'm a research engineer on the Gemma team working on architecture research. The context length of a model refers to the maximum amount of information or tokens that it can coherently process at one time. This includes the information you provide, which essentially becomes the model's immediate knowledge base. Large language models, or LLMs, are typically trained to support a specific maximum context length. Exceeding this limit often leads to a decline in performance. The model might forget earlier parts of the input or generate less relevant responses. In the Jama 3 family of models, the 4, 12, and 27B parameter models are trained to effectively handle a 128,000 token context length. To put that into perspective, that's roughly equivalent to about 6,500 lines of code or the entire text of an average length English novel. Handling such long sequences inherently increases a model's memory footprint, particularly for the KV cache. To mitigate this, Gemma 3 models incorporate specific architectural optimizations. There are now five local attention layers for every global attention layer. Furthermore, the window size for these local attention layers has been set to 1,000 tokens down from 4,000. These design choices significantly reduce memory overhead using almost only a third of the memory, enabling Gemma 3 to efficiently support its extensive context lengths. So what can you do with such an extensive context window? Firstly, you can use these models to summarize and retrieve specific answers from very large inputs. Imagine feeding it complete product documentation or a company's detailed financial reports and getting concise summaries or direct answers to your questions. Secondly, it's great for understanding and debugging large code bases. The model can hold much more of the code's context, helping to identify issues or explain complex sections. And thirdly, long context significantly enhances many shot in context learning. This is where you provide the model with several input output examples of a new task directly within the prompt. With an increased sequence length, we can now provide hundreds or even thousands of these examples or shots. This can often serve as a powerful alternative to fine tuning the model, avoiding the need to update its weights and sidestepping the associated computational costs. For models with more limited context windows, a common technique for handling large inputs is retrieval augmented generation or RAG. This involves a system that retrieves relevant chunks of information from an external knowledge base to feed to the model. With the advent of significantly longer context lengths, we can often fit an entire knowledge base directly into the model's context, potentially reducing the need for an external retrieval system. However, it's important to note that for even larger knowledge bases that still exceed the context limit, this capability can aid RAG by allowing us to feed more relevant chunks of information into the prompt at once. While these models are capable of processing a massive amount of input, how you prompt them still significantly impacts the quality of the response. Therefore, it's worth following a few best practices. First, try to avoid including irrelevant information or distractors in your input. Keep the focus on what the model needs to know. Second, structure your input clearly. If you're providing multiple documents or pieces of information, separate them distinctly. The same goes for few short examples. Make them easy for the model to parse. And finally, Leverage the instruction-following capabilities of instruction-tuned models. Clearly and precisely specify the task that you want the model to perform. Long context capabilities open up new avenues, directly impacting their capacity for complex reasoning, multi-document understanding, and sustained coherence over multi-turn interactions. If you want to learn more about this and other capabilities available on the Gemma models, like multimodality and multilinguality, take a look at the Gemma documentation. From there, you can find ways to combine these capabilities to write powerful prompts. Thanks for watching. I'll leave the links in the description below.